All right. I think, I think we've mostly got our seats. Good morning, everyone. I'm Stephen Butcher, Chief Executive of uh, EduServe, uh, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to what is the sixth uh, EduServe annual symposium. Um, it's not the only meeting going on in London this morning, but I'm sure this is at least as stimulating uh, and forward-looking as anything going on in Downing Street today. Uh, it's also, I think, the biggest uh, symposium uh, that we've yet had, and I think that's a tribute to the program that uh, Andy Powell, uh, our research program director, has laid on for us. Um, it's also the reason why, more than once over the last few weeks, He's come back to me to talk about the budget for today's event. And it's perhaps worth explaining why uh, we want to host these kinds of uh, events. Very briefly, uh, EduServe started very informally in the 80s, uh, as the name might suggest, out of the education sector, universities in particular, um, providing cooperative services. That was uh, institutionalized towards the end of the 1990s. We were institutionalized then as a not-for-profit company uh, governed by the Charity Commission. Um, and we don't receive any significant grant funding. We have to earn our keep from the services we provide. What's been curious about the last 10 years uh, of our history uh, is that, in fact, nearly all our growth, and there's been significant growth over the last 10 years, nearly all our growth has been not in, in the sectors from which most of the uh, people here today come from, um, but from central government. Over the last 10 years, uh, we have uh, developed uh, web uh, sites and we have uh, managed hosting for uh, a variety of central government clients. To begin with, uh, primarily the education department uh, in its manifestation then, I guess it was uh, DFES. Uh, and then through to other educational departments and agencies. Uh, and that has driven a threefold growth uh, in EduServe over the past 10 years. And now we host a virtualized, a shared virtualized infrastructure that uh, DCSF, as it was at the beginning of the week, Biz, as it was at the beginning of the week, uh, Biz agencies and so on and so forth, uh, use. Uh, and those services have both necessitated and uh, justified uh, our development of the first phase of, of our data center site in Swindon. So that's all very exciting and fine and dandy. But it leaves us with uh, a little uh, nagging concern that we're not exploiting those kinds of capabilities and capacities for the sector from which, for the sector from which we originally sprang, in other words, the, uh, the, the university sector. Now, clearly, the needs of the university sector are very different from the needs of government. Government are demanding enough, I can tell you, but it's a, no doubt a different kind of uh, demand from what universities need. The importance for us of events like this is that it is part of the conversation we need to have with the sector uh, about how we should be leveraging our capabilities, our capacity, our skills for the sector. So that, for me, is the long-term game. Today, more specifically, and is set, I think, a tremendous program, as I was saying earlier, uh, about what mobility means, what it means technically, what it means institutionally, perhaps even what it means, as it were, existentially for universities. And I'm very much looking forward to that program. Andy said I mustn't talk for more than six minutes. Uh, I'm now going to hand over to him. He'll also, I think, do all the um, domestics and, and so on. Andy, I've lost you. Where are you? <laughs> over to you. Thanks very much.